Oh, hey. Hello? Hey, can you I, hear me? I didn't think you were going to answer, boy. I mean, were you, what were you doing or paying the office? <laughs> no, I'm not in the office. It's on my mobile. But what can I do for you? Oh, I, the, I saw this 24-hour tailor, and I'm in Las Vegas, you know? So I thought I was good. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. What are you doing? <laughs> no problem. Well, I'm not doing alterations right now, but... Uh, then why, you, why does it say uh, why, why does it say 24 hour then? <laughs> Hello? Sorry, I just walked into the casino. Me. Hello? Yes. Yeah, I just walked. I just walked into the casino. I'm sorry. No problem. No, it's the name of my business. We do alterations in there. So it's just the, company. What it, can I do for you? Your 24 hours in name only? I mean, can you do some shit right it now? Is. Huh? Yeah? Not, not at this hour. Not then why do you put 24 hour. hours? Then you waste, you're wasting my fucking time. Can you recommend someone who's open right now, then? Asshole. No, I can't. Fucking okay. asshole, you know that? Seriously. 24 hour laundry match 20 this Mario. Hey, how you doing, big Mario? I'm good, and yourself? Oh, man, I'm winning some money, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> you, you hear me all right? I'm in the fucking casino and shit. That's what's up. Yeah, hey, you want to come down here and party? Sure, I can't right now. I got to go home and get my daughter. Oh, yeah, that's, that's how's your daughter? Uh, six. Six, all right, well, that's, yeah, that's nuts. That's good, that's good that you do that. You know, you're breaking that stereotype. That's good, you know? <laughs> that's good. You always take care of her or just now, like you have some kind of coming to God? Well, have fun gambling, my man. Oh, no, for real, though, I need to get some laundromat services. Huh? I need laundromat services. I was hoping you were open. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, do you wash dry fold there? Yes, we do. Oh, man. Are you wear gloves, right? Because, I mean, huh? do you wear gloves when you're going to wash dry my jeans? They need to be clean. They got a lot of stuff yeah. in them. I got my dream jeans. Do you have, what do you recommend? All right, so I only brought, like, the clothes I have on me, you know? And uh -huh. I was just going to sleep in my underwear, but the jeans are all soaked through. And they got through to my underwear. Um, right. I, what do you recommend? Like, I mean, I can come down there now with the jeans, right? You can get them cleaned up for me, I guess. Oh, uh, you can you can wash them if you want to. We, I mean, but yeah, but I don't know. I don't really like. Can you like do the whole drying and folding and everything all nice? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, do you have? I mean, what do you suggest? Like in my situation, like I got all this shit in the pants, you know, and underwear. So I gotta take this stuff off so you can wash it. I just it's nasty. So I don't want to wash it. So I'll let you guys do it. But like, where, do you have like a room I can hang out in? Maybe with some magazines or something? No, we don't have that. Like, what do you suggest I do now? Then, like, I need something to wear. Then, like, while I'm there waiting. Uh, you can shop at a store and uh, grab something from there. Uh, where can I go? I mean, do, you, do you have something I can make me borrow? No, I don't. Uh, do you have, like, a lost and found? Yeah, there's some clothes over here that you could buy. All right, look, you got, you got, uh, you got them shorts there? My uh, shorts? No, we do not. Do not? Oh, shit. Uh, do you have my pants? Do you have the pants there that I left there? You left some pants here? Yeah, I left some pants there. You know, maybe I can just wear those while you wash them. You know what I mean? Yeah, we don't have no pants that was left here. Oh, well, maybe, what will, What if my friend Mr. Alexander Hamilton asked you? Huh? What if my friend Mr. Alexander Hamilton asked you? Who is that? Uh, he's this uh, guy I got hanging out around here, you know, in my back pocket. Alexander Hamilton. Uh -huh. Huh? Um, hold on, I got another customer. I got well, how about, what, right back. what if Mr. Benjamin Franklin... Maybe, uh, I can't do it, my man. Come Let's on, man. Come on, man. I shit my pants, man. I have some bad fucking crabs, man. Damn. I got to take care of this customer real fast. Hey, so. what, is, it, was, is it like a Walmart somewhere? Like, what's the nearest here to where I'm at? Where are you at? At, this, at the Mirage, man. There's a Walmart on, Trop on Tropicana and... I, mean, I got shit all up in my pants, man. Like, I gotta get there. Like, I gotta get there. I gotta shop in there with all this shit and stuff in my pants, you know? And then I gotta check out, and then I gotta change somewhere. And I gotta get, like, I guess I guess I can use, like, the Walmart bag, the plastic bag. I'll put the shit pants and underwear in there, right, for you to wash it? Yeah. 
All right. Oh, do you charge extra for the shit? No. Uh, well, it's like an oily kind of shit. It's this uh, ally, these ally diet pills, and they make it the fat doesn't um, like bind in your stomach. It comes comes out. You pass it through. You know. Let me let me take care of Mark, this customer that's right here in front of me. Yeah. All right. It's like orange ass oil. All right. I'll be right here. Just go ahead. Hey, what's up, big guy? How you doing? What's going on? What's up, Kazo? Hey, did you get your uh, line taken care of? Did I get my what? Your line of customers taken care of? You good? Uh, I mean, I, I just got to work, man. I don't, I don't even know who I'm speaking with. Oh, are you not the cat I was talking to about um, coming down there, getting a wash dry fold of my pants and underwears? A wash dry fold with your pants and underwear. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, because I was trying to figure out, because usually, like, you know, I would have more clothes with me, but I only brought, like, one change of clothes. So, and my pants and underwear need to get changed. I'm here at the casino, and I, like, I had an accident. So, um, I just wanted to get that done, but in the meantime, like, I got to wait around, you know, to, to get them back. Because it's the only clothes I have, so I was wondering if you had like maybe a room where I can just sit. I'll, I'll, I'll get a newspaper, I'll read it, and like I'll put it down on the chair, you know, um, to sit on the section that I don't read. Uh, you know, like just oh, somewhere God. it can be a little That'd private. Be. You know, maybe like the office. Just for how long does it take to get that? Like, can you rush that, man? Nah, that takes four hours. First of all, and second oh, of all, uh, well, I can yeah. like hang out for four hours. I can sober up. You know? Nah, nah. It's, you you gotta go. You gotta take it to another spot, bro. All right, but well, can you recommend? All right, so like, what can I? Well, it's not that I gotta go to somewhere else. I'm just saying, like, I don't have anything for my, you know, my private to cover my private area while I'm waiting those four hours. You know, so I can't just sit around there. You're not gonna. What, you don't you, want me to you, sit. Are you? What are you down here on vacation? Yeah. Yeah, well, you, that means you came with money. That means you go to Walmart. It's all gone. You grab a pair of pants. It's it's all gone though. You know, like I got the credit card. I, I, so yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, what would you do? Like, there's a Walmart close by. Have a good night, buddy. Is there a Walmart close by? Come on, man. Twenty four hours out. Hey, how can I help you? Hey, how are you doing, Hermano? Hey, hey, who's calling? Hey, this is Akulo. Hey, I have a problem, man. Uh, so I have one, only one chain. I only have the underwears. And the pants that I'm wearing right now, and I got a big mess over here. Um, so Where? Do, you, do you over here in the casino? Do you have wash dry fold? Like, can you do a rush on this? I'll pay whatever for my pants and underwear to get cleaned. It's the only clothes I have is what I'm wearing right now. Oh no, no, I can do that. I cannot do that. How long no. it take? How long it take to get wash dry fold? Do you do uh, wash dry fold? Or do you just have the machine? Oh, like 30 minutes. You can do for me, or I have to wash in the machine? Yeah, you have to wash it, yeah. You, do, you don't wash? Because uh, I have cameras all over, and mm. I cannot do that. Oh, no. Oh. No. So I wash. I'm washing them in the machine. Okay. Okay, listen, but all right. So here's the problem. I uh, This is the only pants and underwear that I have is what I'm wearing, and they have to be washed. They have a lot of feces on them. Um. So I need to put them in the machine. But do you have like a room? Maybe I can sit in private room because I don't have any pants or underwear while I'm washing them. You know? Oh my god! Yeah, I know. It's no, just, I don't no. know what to do. I'm scared. I'm shaking. I don't know what to do. Like, do you know somewhere I can go? Maybe get some pants and underwear to maybe because you know I have I have like a lot of uh, you know feces. You know, like shit. Um, uh huh. I had I had diarrhea really bad. And uh, I was playing the uh, the card game, you know, the cards mm-hmm. here at the casino, and I lost a lot of money, and I started having a panic attack, and they I passed out. They had to take me outside, and I had like a diarrhea, I guess, you know. I lost. Yeah, control. You, I don't. I don't know what we. Can... Do you have maybe? We, we don't have pens. Do you, you have maybe a newspaper I can put around me, like a towel or something, like you know? While I'm waiting? No, 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 no. Oh, come no. on, man. You got to help me. We bro. have a lot of people here. No. I know that you have the cameras. They're going to see my penis there. What do I do? Well, I don't know. I don't know. What do you? What would you do? I mean, where can I go? 
I don't know where you can Come go. Come on, man. I'll give you $100. You bring me some pants from Walmart or some, just some shorts real quick. Man. No, no. Uh, Come on, I, man. I'm by myself here I'll working. Suck, and I'll suck your dick. I cannot do that. I'll suck your dick. Okay, bye. I'll suck your dick. Okay. Yeah, I'll suck He said, okay, guys. <laughs> He's like, oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Time for our smoke shop. Hey, how you doing? Listen, I got an issue. I came in there earlier today and bought a pack of uh, Newports. Uh-huh. And uh, I just opened them up uh, just a little bit ago. I just finished off my last pack. And for some reason, I, I go to light this thing, and it, it wasn't lighting. And uh, so I'm, I'm checking this thing out. Do you know why somebody would take out the tobacco and put, like, a little cork of wood in this thing, try to make it look like a real cigarette? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm not fucking around, man. It, it, it's every cigarette in this pack. It's not just one. They took all the tobacco out, and there's long little corks of wood inside of this thing. That is crazy. I'm a cigarette smoker, too, myself. I'm the owner. This is my shop. I never heard anything like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, what the, what the hell? I was like, you know, the paper's lighting, but wow. the fucking, it's, it's, I'm trying to, you know, do a drag on this thing. It's not, it's not fucking drawn or nothing. Yeah, well, oh, that's crazy. I don't know what to say, because... Those we buy them from Costco, our cigarettes. From from the Costco's, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Because like, let, let me let me have my friend talk to you. Uh, my friend David here, because I bought them from him, and I just wanted to bum a cigarette from him. And you know, he, I mean, he knows a little bit more about what's going on here. Hang on, just a second. Let me give him the phone here. Hey, hey, man, how you doing? Good, good. Yeah, this is David. Uh, Going um on? yeah my buddy he just he just left the room real quick so uh you and i we could just talk privately for a minute um yeah i bought i know the cigarettes i bought from you were good uh what i did was i emptied out all the the tobacco because i'm broke i have no job and then i put little twigs in there that i found in the yard and i put them back in and i sealed it up you know this is when he was asleep Aren't you I, to I took the tobacco and i'm rolling my own so I'm gonna put him back on, but don't God. don't let on. Hello? You don't go on you. <laughs> calls you a low life, dude. Second LB. Hey, are you guys really twenty four hours? Yes, we are. Alright, cool. I said I wasn't sure, you know, I get I have a weird schedule, you know. But I'm getting off of work. Yeah, yeah I'm getting off of work. Uh so it's free pizza Monday tomorrow, right? Yes. Sweet. Okay, alright. So I wanted to call ahead with my order. I was wondering if the best thing I could do. Is I can just give you my login and password for the pizza. Is that you guys get always get the pizza from Pizza Hut usually, right? When I'm there, I think you always get Pizza Hut pizza, right? Nice. No, we get it here, and um, we don't. Yeah. Yeah. So no, but when you come to the gym, you can just pick it up. Yeah, yeah. But where does it come from? I gotta know for the calories. You know? Uh, Domino's. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So I, I gonna. Can you write this down, please? Write what down? Uh, just the username and password for my account. Um, do you, um, if you have your name and your phone number, we could just look you up in the system. No, but it, it needs my uh, username and password. It's my email address and my password because that way you guys can just log in on the Domino's um, app there. And I saved the what I wanted. Like, I created my own pizza. And... I was thinking, like, I usually come to work out around 7. Um, I don't know if you guys have the pizza at that time. I, I don't really know what time we um, we come with the pizza. All right, so if uh, I come around noon, uh, let me give you my username and password for Domino's Pizza website, and then you can go, and I saved the pizza uh, in the cart. It's called Planet Fitness Se uh, September, S-E-P-T. So you can just click on that when you log in. And then that's the pizza that I wanted to get tomorrow. Um, we, I don't, I don't know if we do a selection. My manager usually was is the one that takes care of that. Um, yeah, but if you put it in, she'll be able to get it. Yeah, but. write that down. Write the pizza. Let me just tell you. I mean, if this is a big deal, I'll just give you the pizza order then. Like, what to get me? Oh, we don't, we don't do it like that. We just buy quite a bit, and people come in and get some. There's yeah, no really yeah well, we, we, we can we can yeah we can do this though because you know I'm a black card member, right? I'm a black card member. Uh, no, we don't do that. Come on, just write this down and pass it on to the manager. Then just leave it for the manager there in the morning. 
Yeah. Um, you can come in and let her know tomorrow. Well, but I, I have. I have. Don't a, do that. I have a complaint to file. That's fine. All right. Can I file it to you? Uh, yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, so I wanted to get the medium gluten-free light sauce with uh, the the uh, pepperoni. <laughs> Twenty-four minutes. Oh, hey, brother. How you doing? Hello. Hey, good. I'm calling from the corporate office. Are you guys selling any orange or blue-colored sports drinks, Gatorade particularly, or Powerade? Mm, orange or blue-colored? Yeah, blue-colored. We have to pull those as soon as possible. Yes, we have. Yeah, there's a orange lot. and blue colored Gatorades Gatorade? and Powerades. Yeah, it, well, okay, yeah. Um, we need to pull those as quickly as possible, sir. Well, uh, something happened. Yeah, yeah. The lab can't. There's a urgent lab uh, report. Urgent lab alert came through the wire here just a moment ago. We've been calling the locations um, in phased. Um, overnight tonight, the laboratory found some very disturbing stuff in anything that's got the blue or col blue coloring or the orange coloring. Uh, but okay. it's only affecting those electrolyte enhanced uh, sports drinks, which would be, according to my data on your store, that's only you only have Gatorade and Powerade that we're concerned with. Is it Blue Blast? Can you tell me what uh, flavors those are? Uh, there's Mountain Berry, there's the Blue Powerade, the uh, Orange Powerade, and the uh and the blue blue blast and the uh, orange yeah. regular one. Yeah, definitely the the blue blast has to uh, as soon as possible. Uh, we may need to. Can you uh, uh, do? Do you have space to put those in, or like a milk crate or something, or how are you? Planning? Well, we we have milk crates so we could put them in. Yeah, you go ahead and put. We need to put those in milk crates. Leave them like towards the back of the cooler. Mark them, and I can need to give you the um, the code for the recall, just so the. Delivery man, when he comes by, he's going to need that to see that to put it in his uh, keypad. It's a uh, five-digit code. Okay. Uh, you got it. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Two zero one six five. It's this year, and it's recall number five for the year. So it's just two zero one six five. Yeah. Two zero one six five. Recall two zero one six five, or you can just do REC two zero one six five. Works also. Recall 20165. Right, and it should just be just the orange and then uh, Mountain Berry Blast. Is that the other one that you have there? I believe so. Okay, yeah. All right, Powerade Zero also. There's a mixed berry and an orange in those also, according to the data here. Yeah. All right, and if you have any Powerade Zero Drops, uh, Mountain Berry Blast and orange flavor of the drops. You probably might not have those at this location, but just in case. Okay, but anything that has, that is blue or orange, blue, uh, power rating, Gatorade prefer uh, to pull off the shelf then. Right. Can I put my uh, lab technician here real quick? He needs to take three, uh, some samples real quick. He's going to ask you, give you some instructions really quickly, please. Okay. Okay, just a moment. Uh, Mr. Snoswell? Yeah, I'm taking a shit. Can, uh, Dwight, can you get oh, Dwight? Oh, sure, yeah. He's, he's a good technician. Yeah, Dr. McClanahan. i got to take a shit. Yeah, Dr. McClanahan. Uh, yeah, hello? Hello? Yeah, we got that recall Hi. on uh, Blue and Orange Powerade. He might need to do a quick uh, field test on that, I guess. Okay, and, that, and that's on the Powerade? Uh, Powerade and Gatorade. Just We just need it on one of the bottles, one of the flavors right now. Okay, and that, that's on the, the orange? Yes. Okay. Uh, sir, are you currently available on the phone? Hello, sir? Hello? Yes. Uh, what I need you to do is go ahead and retrieve one of the bottles of the orange uh, Gatorade. Okay, just one moment. Mm hmm Is it on my heart? Yeah, 
Ние за тия си на маржа, а е за столката няма да дете. Вижте, че е изкорен тази дос. Now, does it have to be orange or is it melon? Uh, no, 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 orange, orange, sir. Just, okay, I got the orange. Okay. And what we have to do, uh, because the particular complaint has to do with the actual bottle, not the contents of the actual uh, orange, uh, uh, actual liquid itself. What we have to do is we have to get a reactant according to the standard operating procedure here. Uh, so what we need to do is uh, grab a product in the store that's going to have a uh, acidic component to it. Uh, do you have, oh, let's see, I'm trying to think. Let me flip through the book here. Uh, do you have the Mentos mints? They come in a tube. Which one? Mentos mints. They come in a tube. Yeah, I got Mentos. Okay, go ahead and grab a tube of those. All right. Does that does that have to be any? <laughs> just the regular ones, not the fruit ones. Just the regulars. All right. The mint one. Yeah, Mentos Mints, correct, not the fruit ones. All right, I got it. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to put, we're going to open up the the uh, the Gatorade, and we're going to put three of the Mentos Mints inside, and then we're going to close the top up, and I'm going to have you shake the Gatorade for 25 seconds, and then you're mm -hmm. going to inform me if the uh, color starts to change inside of the bottle. All right. So go ahead and do that for me now, please. All right. shaking and there's no discoloration or anything. No, no discoloration? All right, perfect. Uh, now, we do have to do a control test with this also. Uh, so what I'm going to do is because there, it, with the same uh, the same product, we're probably going to get the same results. I need to do a control test. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you go and retrieve a two liter of Diet Coke because they're from the same bottling plant. Uh -huh. So they're the same material, and they came out at the same time. They were produced at the same time. We have to get a uh, two liter of Diet Coke, open that up, and we're going to put three Mentos into that also, and uh -huh. then we're going to re repeat the same procedure. Will that make it explode? No. Uh, Mentos, I, I know about that whole joke, but Mentos actually just recently adjusted the formula so that no longer happens because they got tired of people actually getting people that – uh, they were making jokes and people oh, yeah. were getting mad. They were getting sued, so they adjusted the formula so that no longer happens. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah, they were getting sued like crazy, so they adjusted oh. the formula so that doesn't happen anymore. Already. So just a two-liter bottle of Diet Coke and three Coke, yeah. Mentos and then do the same thing? Three Mentos, yep, into the bottle at the same time, and then uh, we'll go ahead and have you close the lid, shake it. Okay, so we'll, we'll do that right now. Okay, thank you.
Donald, can you just let me know when you've opened the Diet Coke? Well, I guess that adjustment that Mentos made didn't really help it because it is exploding. Oh, what, what do you mean? Well, you know, that, you know that usually people put the Mentos in so that there's a reaction so that it bubbles? Right. It's doing that right now. <laughs> oh, okay. So you must have some bad product. These must be old Mentos? Maybe. Try putting a few and more Mentos in. November 20th, 18th. How, how high is it going? Well, it's pretty much f- filling up and over. It's okay, that's put, just one. Put, put five or six in there, and we're just going to make sure it's the Mentos and not the product. Well, I can't even get it in there. Because it's just that's continuously she, overflowing. I'll go ahead and just drop a few more in there. Hmm. Uh, where is it? Where is the date on these diet calls? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, the Mentos. The Mentos may be outdated. Oh, because uh, I just put it's it's still only the one, but the diet Coke won't let me put any more because it keeps pushing oh. it out. Oh, it keeps pushing it out. Oh, okay. Yeah, oddly yeah, enough. We're going to we're gonna have to take a look at those Mentos. Uh, let me have you go ahead and just take the remaining Mentos and go put them in your gas tank because it's going to supercharge your vehicle now. Okay. Okay, now what? Well, you're going to go out to your car, and you're going to put them in your gas tank, because then it's going to supercharge your vehicle like the Batmobile. Okay. So go do that, and I'll stay on the phone. I don't even know how true that is, though. Oh, it's very true. Uh, What it does is it adds uh, extra ethanol. Okay. Yeah. And it gives you better gas mileage. What's the reaction that's supposed to be good? Yes. Well, it makes well, the pistons go up and down And that's a way for us to test the Mentos, because obviously they, they have some, uh, the formula, the old formula. Go ahead and put those in. Well, what's the reaction I'm supposed to be getting from the gas tank there? Well, I'm going to have you put them in the gas tank, and then I'm going to have you go for a drive and see if you can go from 0 to 60 in 2.3 seconds. Well, that's kind of not possible since I'm at a 24-hour store and I can't leave this place or have it locked. Well, you just close it down for like 10 minutes while you take a drive. Well, I can't do that. You can't do that? No, my boss won't let me. He's always watching. Okay. Well, he's always watching. What do you mean? His cameras? Well, yeah, he he works the night shift also and uh, he's watching me, so... Oh, he's watching you. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you know, he's always watching out for me in the other stores. So. Okay. Yeah, give me give me just a second. Uh, I'm, I'm getting buzzed by David, our other uh, technician. Uh, he has some input here. Give me a moment. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and three-way him in here. Yeah, hey, this is David. How are you, sir? Doing good, sir. How about yourself? Uh, pretty good, yeah. You know, we have one more request um, f- for uh, a Mentos test. Uh, uh-huh. Are you ready to comply? Maybe. It depends on how, what I could do. Yeah, you need to take one of those Mentos and you need to stick it up your ass. Okay. Yep. Now, why is that? Uh, well, just to tell, <laughs> it's the most surefire way to gauge the... Uh, pH of the Mentos, because if it uh, stings, it's acidic. If it kind of tickles and stimulates the prostate, then it's basic. Okay, I don't know how true that is, but... Oh, it's true. Alright. (laughs) Yeah, so you just uh, stick one right up in there. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. For a second, I thought he was actually doing it. Thank you for holding. My name is Are you calling to make a new report today, or are you calling to follow up on a report?
Yeah, I'm making a report. Okay, what's the name of the company? It's uh, the uh, company that handles the 24-hour mart. The gas station, you know. What's, what's the name of the company? Uh, uh, I, I didn't plan this ahead correctly. Okay, so how did you get the number for this hotline? It was on a card at work. What company do you work for? It's uh, the the gas company, the gas company, the car. You put the gas and the people come and they say, if, you know, you know, like they. Need. Sorry, but you you reached the security services hotline. Yeah, this car. It says the ethics hotline called for all ethics uh, issues. Anonymous line. It says here and it has the number. This hotline is for employees to be able to report workplace situations. Oh, wow. That's the security company I work for. So I've asked you what company do you work for, and you said the gas company. The oh, I thought you meant, like, what site I'm at, because I said, yeah, I do security at the gas station here. Okay. So you're an employee of the company, is that yeah, right? Yeah, I don't know what the you know confusion is on your end. I don't know why you're being so ignorant about it. All right, can we move on? Are you about done? I'm sorry. So tell me one sentence what you're what you're trying to report. So I know how to best assist you here. A man masturbated in front of me. Uh, an employee of that of the gas station, or yeah, my boss, my superior. Okay. All right. What city and state do you work in? Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, this happened at the client side or at the branch side? At the client side. My boss came over here, and he was real upset, I guess, about um, work. He said mm -hmm. that his boss was on him, you know, really bad. He said to me, and he, uh, yeah, I'm sorry to talk to you this way, but, I mean, the thing he did, you know. I was in the break room, you know, taking my break, and he came in, and he was all, you know, fucking this, fucking shit, fucking boss. He said, like, that, all these, like, different bosses there. And then the... Um, the owner of this gas station, he was here, and he's uh, like a Muslim, like an Arab, you know. And he said he heard him say "sand," you know, the N word like that, you know, like "sand," right. yeah. And they started fighting and fighting, and they were punching. And then my boss, he like wrapped his arms around him, and he like got him on the ground. He was on top. He was like grinding his um, hips into him, you know. He was, you know, and he started saying, like, who sent you? Who sent you? Like, that? who sent you? And I was like, so, relax, man. Like, what are you talking about? Relax. He's like, who sent you? And the guy, um, the boss, uh, he was like, I don't, you know, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. Fuck you, he said. And then my supervisor, he said, I'll, I'll find out who sent you. And he unbuckled his pants, and he unzipped his pants, and he pulled his pants down. He took his belt off. He took off his shoes and socks, and uh, he was on top of the guy the whole time, and he pulled out his penis, and he put his hand around the shaft of his penis, you know? And he started getting, like, an erection, and he started, like, masturbating it back and forth, you know? So what, uh, what's the address of your branch office? Uh, I mean, I just, I don't ever go there, you know? It's the gas station. Sorry, you said that you're the employee of the uh, company. What's the name? Or what's yeah, the but I mean, I've service? never. They hired me on, you know, on site. Basically, they said just can you start today. They sent me straight here. I think it was all done on the online. You know, I mean, I could give you the website. Dot com. I mean, that's like the main. That's the address. You know, the corporate address. That's where their address is. Dot com. Okay, please contact your local management and see if they can verify the location of your branch office. Well, what can you offer me now, you know? I'm not an employee, so I'm not able to offer you any any specific thing. Yeah, well, I've suffered an emotional shock. I mean, perhaps I'm you should... Perhaps, perhaps, a report, but perhaps you should contact the Rape Crisis Center for me. Uh, this is not a crisis center, I'm sorry. Yeah, but can you put me in touch with the Rape Crisis Center? A uh, rape crisis center? No, sir. I don't have that kind of information here. I've been in, in an emotional shock. 
I mean, can you look in the computer and see? We don't have that kind of information here. I'm sorry, sir. Oh, my God. I mean, do you know somewhere where I could find the address is at? Unfortunately, we only can only work with the information <laughs> sent to us. I mean, uh, you said that you work at the, your station. That's a no, I'm not with CentOS. I'm not with CentOS. I think you said the wrong company. No, we can only work with the information they send to us. Oh, I thought you said CentOS, like the uniform company, you know? So what's the name of the gas station where you where your station at right now? Twenty four hour mark. All right, and what's the uh, street address? All right, all right. Here we go. Are you ready? I got this. Parkway. That is the office machine. That's where I went to like do my training and stuff. Like that place, you mean? No. Uh, where are you working at right now? Oh, where I'm at right now? Well, that I mean, I don't know. They just I mean I can give you the I can give you like some cross streets and stuff. Yeah, like, do you know where the Caesars? You, you know down here where the Caesars Palace is. You know how when you're going down 32 and you come off the exit, you know when you get to the strip, you start I'm coming. I'm nowhere up. near Las Vegas. Yeah, but I mean, do you have a computer? Well, you said that you were employees. Mm -hmm. This happened to you. It happened at where you work. And I understand the situation that you told me you went through. I'm just trying to get some information of where it happened. Right, well, it was at work, yeah. It was in the break room, you know, gas station, you know. And then you asked me for the this address here that I just gave you, and then now you don't want that. Uh, no, you said this is Parkways, where you went for your training. Yeah, that's the office. That's the office. That's where my supervisor works at, and he came here, and he started talking about, you know, the effing this, effing that, and then he assaulted the manager. He started, like, humping him, you know. I'm sorry, I'm not showing any locations for that address that you gave me for <sighs> Alright, well, whatever. You want me to put my co-worker, you know, that was here, he saw the whole thing, I can put him on, maybe he can help you, I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I don't even know if he wants to talk to you. What? If he wants to make a report, he's more than welcome to call the line himself. Alright, so you want me to just call back? Is that what you want? No, you say you want to, he wants to talk, to, or you want him to talk. Talk. Yeah. All right. Well, you have called Navex Global, a company hired oh. by your organization to gather I, information related to potential it just issues. Drop me. And it really is all they they concentrate on the core, your stomach, your abs, your your core. Uh, also, um, it helps with the thighs, and um, you know, depending on which exercises you're doing. Okay. It really is a nice little machine. Okay, it's a machine? Well, it's an exercise machine, yes. Okay, All I right. mean, it's not doing the work for you, you're doing it. It just assists you with, um, you know, with being in a perfect position, the best position for doing the different exercises. You know, it's not, like I say, it's not doing the work for you. Uh, you're doing the work. Okay, all right. And so and where, do, where does it plug in exactly? It doesn't plug in. No? No. How does it, it go, has, What's that? How does it go? Um, you're the one who's doing the work to power, to make it, you know, while well, you're using it. To make I'm it go? I'm sure since you aired like it you goes, know, uh, it, part of the... Hey, shut up for a sec, please. It goes, goes, it goes, do, 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 you know, like that, like, do, 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 no. When you get on it, you're like. Ugh. No. 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 So it's not going to make a sound. Well, what sound that uh, I'm supposed to make? Like, Ugh. No, it's not electrical, so it's not making any sort of a. Well, I'm um, going to make some sounds. Mechanical I'm be like, oh, type of a sound. The sounds I'm going to make are like. Oh, it oh, has. Oh, oh, yeah. If you want to make sounds while you're using oh, it, that's oh, entirely oh, up to you. Sir? Yes. Okay, if can we get back to can we back to get back to the um Wonder Core and the purchase? Okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Sir, 
is this a serious call? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's sometimes I black out, and um, I mean, I might have, did I, I might have just said something kind of odd. I mean, like sometimes they say I make weird noises or I say odd things. Okay. Yes, you've said some things that were inappropriate, and you've made quite a few uh, noises. All right, can I put my caretaker on then? Okay, if you would like. All right. Hello. Uh, yeah. Oh, go ahead. We're co-caretakers. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yes, hello. Hi. Uh, uh, yeah, he just had Heidi? a couple questions. He wanted to know how you connected to the Wi-Fi. It doesn't connect to anything. Okay, he, he says the, the to... internet, the Wi-Fi. It's not he, a wi- he said it was I, supposed to connect wi-fi, to the Wi-Fi. Are you referring to Wi-Fi? No, no, uh, the internet connection in his house, the Wi-Fi. Oh, this does not inter- uh, it's not connected to the internet. The, the internet connection, uh, he has a wrote down, Wi- Wi-Fi. Okay, and I'm, I'm understand, Wi-Fi, which I, which I usually say Wi-Fi, I've heard Wi-Fi. Oh, Wi-Fi, wifi. okay, wifi, okay, I'm, I'm, sure I'm, I'm listen, I thought it was pronounced Wi-Fi. Um, but no, this, this is an independent exercise machine. It takes the place of six different exercisers. Okay, it what size batteries does he need? It does not hook up to the internet. It is a freestanding machine that you do, you know, you do the exercises on. It's not, um, you know, it's not pu- pushing your body to do the specific the inner exercises. That you know, like you can use it for crunches. You can use it as a stationary bike. It has. The resistance takes, allows you to work in both takes directions the place of each and every rep, six different so there's no exercise wasted time or effort. Your muscles are firing That's amazing. Oh, yeah, which, which six? Giving you the ultimate total core workout in just a few minutes a day. I'm sorry, he's turning uh, the TV up way too loud. I'm sorry. Okay. He's got, he's got mental right. issues, and sometimes Were he has the... Were there other questions that he had, or... What? What? Why? Why? Shut up. What? Ma'am, that's why there's two the caretakers on uh, the other side. Right. He's, he's got the Tourette's. Okay. I have no one that has to hold him down with leather restraints. He, he wanted to know what size batteries he has to put in this thing. It doesn't take batteries. It is not machine. It's not electrical in any form. Uh, what? I can't hear her. That's because you don't have the phone. Why are you? Why are you? Why are you yelling? Here, why don't you come over here? Let's take another one of your pills. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and continue. Okay, it does so not take bad at all. What? You're big what? Or small, young or old. Um, turn the TV it down has... and take your pill. Go, go see David. Take your pill. Yeah, I've got your pills. Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. Okay. Go, get, go give David a kiss. Come, come. Okay, go, come, boy. Go, go ahead, ma'am. Okay, it does not take batteries. No batteries. There okay. are, there are, um, Dial there's the bands inside of it Just that them. you can use to adjust the resistance. So mm-hmm. it'll go from, you know, something that the person who's just starting to do exercises can handle all the way up to something that will keep your most fit person toned right. and give them a good workout. Okay, hang on, hang on just a second. D- David, uh, he, he shit himself. Ch- change his diaper, please. Precision okay. dials okay. down for less resistance okay, go ahead. and more heart-pounding repetitions okay. for that leaner look. So there's, like I said, there's no batteries. There's no. It doesn't plug into the wall. It doesn't hook up mm-hmm. to the Internet. No Internet, it no is batteries. A, yeah. Okay. It's an independent, ex- it's an exercise machine. Okay. And uh, did we talk price with him then? Okay, what I told him is it's it's available for five payments of $19.95 or if it's each, muscle size and definition that you want, just dial up the resistance and get the results that well, you're how looking much for. Is it, what? So now you can get the body that you've always that wanted would quickly make it and effectively. Huh? And if you're of just huh? You can I can't hear her. Uh, she said, she says, like uh, you, you, need can't hear her. you need cash of $500 you need rep. to give me or if so I can pay for this. Oh, cash, okay. Yeah, give me 500 and I'll pay for it. Go ahead. You're for, if you're doing the payment plan, the first payment would be $34.90. Mm-hmm. 
Can I make the payments at Sears? It. Like, can I go to the Sears desk, service desk, and they take the payments there? I don't know if Sears sells this. If Sears does sell it, you would have to pay the full price. I'm not working through Sears. Yeah, but um, they usually... And if they, you're in either California, Nevada, New Jersey, or New York, there would also be sales tax that I would have to charge you. Right, but uh, don't they offer, like, a, a 20.9 MP, uh, the credit card? If, uh, yes, we can use a credit card. We could use a debit card. Absolutely. Yeah, no, but they, they, they when I go to Sears, they say 10% off with the credit card offer. Usually, right? Like I said, I don't know if this is something that's available in Sears. I don't have a discount for you using a credit card. In fact, if you were not using a credit card, you would need to send in a check or a money order for the full purchase price, which would be $114.70. Oh, I don't handle that. My caretakers handle that. Yeah, yeah. She she said uh, $500 is what you need to give me so I can pay this. I need to give you $500? In cash, cash yeah. No, seven, remember? Seven, oh, seven, yeah. That's yeah. that's what that's what tax yeah. two two for me. Yeah. yeah. All right. I don't think well, this is serious call. We're gonna do the lump payments. You don't want to do the payment plan. That's how they get people. All right. So what do, do, you mean, do, we, do we just send the cash in, or how do we do this? Okay, if you're wanting to do it with a check or money order, you would make out. First off, did you live in either country? No, no, I'm, I'm not in Nevada, demand. I'm not in demand. So the, no, no making out. Okay, you make out your check or money order for one hundred and fourteen dollars and seventy cents. Okay, don't say it so loud, okay? Because I got about seven hundred dollars coming from this old man. You're going to get yeah. your money, but not so loud. And you, that check is made out to Wonder Course Mart. Okay. All right, he, he's writing it out right now. He just right, made the so check out to... It says, all right, yep. who to make yeah. it out to again? Yeah, he, she said to make Wonder it out to Core Wonder Core Smart. Smart and Dwight McClanahan. Wonder Core Smart yep. uh-huh. and Dwight McClanahan. Yes. It's not me. And David Snoswell. Dave, D-A-V. Yeah. S-N-O-S or Z? Mm-hmm. S. W. E L L. Three party check. Okay. Thank you. And then you mail it to Wondercore Smart. Okay. And then and then basically you mail us the difference back then? Uh no, you make you send the check. Yeah, yeah, He's, he made the check out to Wondercore Smart, Dwight McClanahan, David Snoswell for seven hundred dollars. You'll yeah. take your one fourteen. You mail us the difference back. We can't do that, sir. You no, know, you keep you keep twenty for yourself. Yeah, we're going to give you a tip. You know what? I don't think this is a serious call. Goodbye. Thank you so much for calling to order. Shut the up, shut up, shut This up. is Katrina. Shut Please up. note this call will be recorded for quality and training purposes. Quiet. You're so your name, loud. Please. You're so loud. Jesus. I don't really. Can you transfer me to someone who's not ethnic, please? Because you have that very. Uh, Sorry, I'm not ethnic. Well, you're May ethnic. I have your name, please? It could tell if you're African-American. You have the attitude. Can you make I don't have an attitude either, sir. May I have your name, please? So I can let you know about the order, the offer. What do you mean? What do you need? My order? Your name. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, Ryan. Okay, Ryan, as you saw on TV, we're offering a 30-day trial of the Fix Me Stick for $9.95. Shipping and handling of seven ninety five. Are you ready to order the Fix Me Stick? No. I yet I have some questions first. All right, and answer. go ahead with your questions. Okay. The Fix Me Stick now, is it USB? Yes, it is. Okay, does it have the EXE with it then, the XE? It's a USB standard flash drive. You put into your um, port, and it runs off of there. Off of there, okay. All right, and how does it go? Like, where does it go from there? Does it what do you mean, where does it go from there? It does just it deletes out, the, the, signal the viruses and things off of your computer. The signal goes out, it goes out. It doesn't, it doesn't download or anything, it just 
It goes down to Release, the computer. Uh, it goes removes to, it, everything off your computer. It goes into the computer. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it actually touches computer the, or laptop. Okay, yeah, it's a computer, not a laptop. Okay. Mm-hmm. It goes into the computer. It goes inside. It looks around. It says, "Hey, this, this is problem here, right?" Okay, and then I'm guessing like it does it activate the itself, uh, in its profile, the genetic profile, and then affect the re- surrounding T cells, and inform them of the 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 object that needs to be removed. The you know, the Ford Invader is that how it works? Whatever is going on with your computer, it leaks it off of there. Right, but I'm saying, is this use CRISPR then, or like what what kind of what are we using here? Stem cells. Um, if you're 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 confusing the two. Yeah. If you're, there's no T cells or anything. Yeah. T cells is coming from your blood. This is not coming from a computer. What well, about the B cells? Uh, B cells also, yeah. All right, and I mean, how do, where do should I get the genetic uh, tissue sample? Maybe for you to kind of culture some stem cells from the computer. Then I guess is that what? You, then you um, sir, like I said, you are mixing it up with blood and with other genetic material used in living life forms. This is not come for a computer. Um, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this call, no, and please, no, hopefully honey. you'll t- be able come to on. talk to someone else. Come on, labia, vagina, come on. Yep. I was going to ask her if there was any danger of explosion. Thank you so much for calling to order the Fix Me Stick. This is Katrina. Please note this call will be recorded for call quality and training purposes. May I have your name, please? Yeah, Hi, I- my name is Dwayne. How are you? Hello, Dwayne. Um, as you saw on TV, we're offering a 30-day trial of the Fix Me Stick for $9.95. Shipping and handling of seven ninety five. Are you ready to order the Fix Me Stick? Uh, yeah, I, I have like one or two questions before we do the order, if I could, please. All right. What are your questions? Okay. Um, I, I have the uh, Windows 7. Does this work on Windows 7? Yes, it does. It works on Windows 7? Okay. Um. Uh, and then I only have uh, two gigabytes of RAM. Uh, th- does that work with that also? I mean, it's not downloading anything onto your um, computer. It's just you just using the Fix Me Stick to delete the um, viruses that are that have come on to attack your computer. So yes, okay. it's not it's not a downloadable program. Everything is done from the Fix Me Stick itself. It's a little oh. self-contained device that is able to remove all the viruses and spyware off of your computer. Okay, so like I, I plug this like what does it use AC or DC power when I plug it into the wall? You don't plug the fix me stick into the wall. You is directly into your computer. Oh, okay. So the computer powers it then. It's already self-powered. You just oh. put it into the computer. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I gotta get it because when I got this this latest virus, I, I was probably browsing places I shouldn't have, and it it cracked my monitor. So I need this stick to to fix my monitor. Okay, it is not a glue stick. It is not a stick that was fixed. No, no, to I know screen. it's not a glue stick. It's for the it viruses. is for it's for your CPU to. Yeah, yeah, it's for the viruses. Okay, now. Um, so are you ready to order? Yeah, yeah, I, I need it so it'll fix I, my fix my LCD uh, uh, monitor. Are you using this for a PC or a Mac computer? No, it's a PC. And might I get your last name, please? Yep, McClanahan. Can you spell that? Yep, I sure can because that's my name. Uh, it's capital M, lowercase c, capital C. And then it's lowercase L A N A H A N. Okay, and would this be MasterCard or Visa today? Oh, I'm going to use my Master Visa. It's a combo for my bank, it has both logos. It has to be either MasterCard or Visa. It's no such card I, name. No, Master Visa. I have I have a credit union, and it has both. It has both. Okay. Numbers. What are your credit card numbers? Okay. Well, the number is four zero. 
Expiration date? It's 11 of... Three-digit code on the back of the card. One. And your email... Okay, so I'm showing this address as not matching um, anything in the United States. No, it matches because I'm sitting in my house right now. Well, I'm so sorry, but I can't run the order because it's not... So I'm sorry. Um, I can't help you with this order. Um, something's going on with the address. So um, just give us a call back when you get an address that we can work with. Uh, how much take the, take the Fix Me Stick, put it in your pussy and fucking upload and get the viruses out of there, you bitch. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you for calling Fix Me Stick. My name is Scott. Man, your first name. Oh, what's up, man? Hey, this is Orion. What's up, Ryan? No, oh, A-Ryan. What are you calling from? Yeah, uh, Orion. Orion. It gets people sometimes. Okay, Orion. What state are you calling from? Oh, I'm from Texas. All right, all right. Now, you just saw on TV. We all give you a 30-day trial. Try us out for nine ninety five. Yeah. Uh, shipping and handling seven ninety five is about the price of two medium pizzas. Fix your computer. Okay. Yep. Uh, two medium pizzas. It'll take light sauce, uh, pepperoni. No, that's about that's about how much it costs. Oh, oh to okay. fix your computer. Oh, okay. You call it a fix mistake. You ain't called on pizza place. Well, I mean, you were saying pizza. I thought, yeah, that maybe I could make an order. While I was, I thought that's what you were saying. So, what, what kind of computer issues you dealing with? Oh yeah, well it it comes up really big. Um, it has like these images that come up really big whenever. Um, like it makes it makes this noise, you know. I mean, you want I mean, you want me to, I can play it for you. You want to hear it? I mean, is it, is it stopping? Is it troubleshooting? Is it, I mean, is it? There it is. I mean, it just started doing this every time I start it up. Oh shit! There it goes. It crashed again. I thought you could see the sound. That's not the computer. <laughs> that see. I think it's yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It crashed pretty good. Um, um, when, when you get tired of pranking people, uh, then call us back. And we'll get you to fix me, stick buddy. Fuck All right, you. fuck you. Hey, put it in your hat. <laughs> good morning. Thank you for calling Zappos. dot com. This is Rochelle speaking. How may I help you today? Hey, hi. How you doing, big girl? My name is Orion. A R Y A N. It's not Ryan. People get confused sometimes. It's Orion. Hi, Ryan. How may I help you? Oh, uh, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm a little fitted. You just call me big girl. Oh, I just, that's, I mean, that's what the, they say now, you know? Like Rick Ross and the brain say, hey, big girl, give me a call. Nah, um, I haven't heard that. Oh, shit. Um, well, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Um, can I, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to offend you, all right? I'm sorry, you must be a big girl. I'm sorry, you probably got a big belly. I'm sorry. Um, can I give you a... You know, if you're going to take it that far, I'm not trying to be rude, but I I would end this conversation if, if you're going to talk to me that type of way. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so comfortable. Yeah, all right. The first time was an oversight. The second time was a little intentional. I'm sorry. Okay, but the shoe fits, but okay. Um, All right, you have a good night, sir. Okay. Hey, you work for Zappos. The shoe fits. Get it? Have, have, a, have a good night. Got him. It's the WB. Got him. I bet she's got a big <laughs> pair of floppy tips. <laughs> the shoe fits. All right. Have a great day here at Zappos. My name is Ashley. How may I assist you? Oh, hey, Sexy. How you doing? I was calling about a product that's on the website. Okay. And how may I assist you today? Uh, does it have like a SKU number I can give you, I think? A SKU number? Yes, it's located on the right-hand side. That's what, Above yeah. the price. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's 829-4385. Oh, I'm sorry, that was 829-4385. Okay, thank you so much. And that is the to exist. Essentials long underwear? Yeah, that's the one. Uh, you got the screen in front of you there. I'm sure. Um, looking at the product. Okay, and how may I assist you today? Yeah, how about the unit on him, huh? Look at that. Is well, there anything in regards to the product that I can assist you with today? Yeah, well, do you see, like, um, towards, like, the, um, the in between the legs area there? 
how the fabric comes in like that? Yes. Okay. Is that common? Of course. Okay. Do you see it depends how, on the... You see, it depends on the style. Oh, so, so look, you see the knee area, right? Mm-hmm. And if you make your eye way up with your eyes up the left leg all the way up until it stops, and there's like this, uh, the bulge is there, you know, and you see how it comes down like that? A little bit. Was co- there anything in regards to the product that I can assist you with today? Yeah, but you see how it comes down like a T. Is that the fabric itself, or is that the this person's, um, you know, manhood? Maybe that causes yeah. that? The second option. The second option? So he, yeah. Wow. Wow. That's a good one right there. It's nice. He's got a root on him, huh? Look at that. All right. Well, if there wasn't anything Zappos related, I will go ahead and disconnect the line. Thank you so much for calling. Okay. Yeah, I just just want to make sure of that. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, do you have any, uh, like, hot pants, like hot shorts? Hot shorts? Yeah, you know, something uh, like a tight-fitting hot pants or shorts that say Alaska on the ass. No, we don't have any of those. Really? Why not? I don't know. I I saw one at Kmart. Why don't you have it? I was at Kmart, and I saw they had that there. I thought oh, okay. for sure I'd be able to get it at Zappos for cheap, cheaper. Mm, I don't know about that. Yeah. So what are you doing? Are you? Yeah. What are you doing up in there tonight? Helping you find and place this order. All right, that's good. All right. Did you want to, um, any anything else besides the hat and the crotchless panties? Uh, yeah, I've got another skew. Okay. Yeah, it's 874-4489. All right, so the Vivian Westwood sex key ring. Yes, I definitely need that. Okay. All right. That, that's a must-have. And I don't okay. know if you got this other one. Um, I wrote down a bunch of SKUs. I've been, I spent the whole day making my shopping list for the trip. And so, uh, eight seven four six nine one two. I don't know if I gave that to you before. The Vivian Westwood sex bag. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, how much are they per bag? This bag is five hundred thirteen dollars. Okay, so. Yeah, maybe I might. Do you you have a lot of them in stock? Yeah, how many did you want? Well, I was thinking I'm going to be bringing them up there to give us like gift bags. You know, when I meet the natives. Sure. How many would you like? Let's see. Oh, I'm thinking three um, available. Be up there for a month, maybe about thirty or forty. I have three. You only have three sex bags. Yes. Wow, did they sell out really fast or something? I'm not for sure. Oh, did you? How many did you buy? We have three available. Okay, I guess I just need two. Or if this is getting that way, I I mean, you could tell me if you bought them all up when they became available. I mean, I just need two, and you have three, so I'll take two. Mm -hmm. Can you describe the contents of the bags? I just need to. Uh, cross-reference them with my checklist. I've got a bullet yeah, point checklist a, here. It is made of patent leather. It is oh, yeah. flat with a magnetic snapped closure. <laughs> it has a gold-plated <laughs> SEX hardware and iconic orb at front. It has a woven interior feature. It's a slip pocket and back zip pocket. Wow. Hmm. How big is the pocket? I mean, is it big enough that you could just kind of slide on in it. I mean, it is sure. a sex bag, right? Um, the measurements of the bag, the depth is 10 and 3 fourths inches. Hmm. Well, that might be a problem. Like Do you have any that are much. deeper than that? No, we don't have anything. I mean, maybe like 14 inches? 
is there something else that I can help you with, sir? Because if it's going to go this way, I can transfer you to someone who can better assist you. Oh, who is that? Yeah, let me place you on hold, and I will go ahead and pull them up, okay? Hold on one who second. Is? I'm scared. <laughs> Oh my god. I asked the sex bag the guy when they had the outage, right? Wasn't that. What's that? Who, what was that? Did I do that with you guys? John. His name was John. Yeah. I kept trying to get him to do it on his iPad, or his i He had an iPod, I think. An iPod Touch. <laughs> it's just a look at us like, no. Does somebody else want to take it when whoever picks up? Oh, you. Yeah, it's yours, man. That's having a good time. That's awesome. They're telling me six. Bags. I haven't done too much pranking in a while, so this is kind of like a long one. It's fun. It's kind of running out of steam. Yeah, I'm fine with it. It's three fifty-nine. We have a minute. Let's get the vibrator out. Not me. Gone, young. Gone, young. Hey, Papi. Hey, Papi, stop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, it's gonna take a long time. Hello? Hello, caller? Yeah, hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, we're going to disconnect the telephone call. You have been. Why? We need to order the items. And have a great day. Thank it's you. an emergency. Look, I'm sure you could. Can you uh, talk to someone else? Because you're really pissing me off. I'm the supervisor in charge. All right. Is there a man I can talk to? 